Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Joe Bradford, and I want to talk to you about a very important topic that has affected me personally, and that is the topic of suicide. There's a huge stigma about talking about suicide in our community, how we treat those who have suicide ideation, how we treat those who have attempted suicide, and how we treat the survivors and the families of the act of suicide. I know about this because my own father died by suicide over a decade ago. And I lived with the stigma of not speaking about it to family and friends and community because I was so afraid of the reaction that I would get from people because I knew that people just didn't understand what someone who does that goes through and what someone who deals with the fallout of that goes through. Having been traditionally educated in Islamic studies, I know that there is a breadth of opinion and of perspective when we talk about suicide. It's an unfortunate reality that much of what is said about suicide in our community is simply not true. It's simply based on false theologies, false ideologies, and folk anecdotes, anecdotes, things that people think that they're supposed to do or say as Muslims, but have no roots in the love and the mercy, the rahmah that is inherent to Islam as a faith. So this project that I'm launching is a project to take the research that I've been working on since before being affected with this issue and then now afterwards and present it to communities in a way that's going to educate them in the manner to best deal with the issues of the stigma that affects individuals, families, and communities when a suicide occurs. It is not all doom and gloom. It's not all negative. We have to break through and make sure that people understand that when people are hurting, they need help not to be pushed away. When people have hurt themselves and hurt others, that doesn't deny them access to Allah's infinite mercy. In the coming days, I'm going to show and I'm going to share with you some of the preliminary research that I have on the topic, some links to articles that I have already written, and I'm going to show you as well some of the reactions that I've already solicited from the community that has only driven home the importance of educating our communities on how we can embody the mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us in the example of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have only sent you as a mercy for all worlds. So I hope that you can join me in supporting this project and helping create the research, the access, and the education necessary to bring this ummah up out of the ignorance that surrounds these issues and into the rahmah, the mercy that is inherent to our faith and should be inherent in our hearts when we deal with this subject. Look out for more videos, more articles, more links over the next couple of weeks. This campaign will be open for about a month. I ask you now that we are at the end of the month of Ramadan and we're closing out May as a month of mental health awareness that we take this topic seriously and we do what we can to educate our communities and break through the stigma that has to do with suicide and suicide ideation. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.